For over 200 years, railroads have crisscrossed the lands of North America. During these two centuries, many railroads have risen and fallen while others have prevailed. Through it all, a rich history has been forged, cast in iron and steel. To honor this heritage, many present-day railroads have created special locomotives resplendent in the liveries of the past. This is Heritage Unit Profiles. In 2011, Amtrak, also known as the National Railroad Passenger Corporation, painted four P-42DC locomotives, one P-40DC and one F-40PH converted to a non-powered control unit into special paint schemes to celebrate the company's 40th anniversary. Adapted versions of four different paint schemes from Amtrak's past were applied to the locomotives which Amtrak refers to as their anniversary units. The first of these paint schemes, or phases as Amtrak often calls them, was applied to P-42 locomotive number 156. The Phase 1 paint scheme was used on Amtrak equipment beginning in 1972. It was replaced in 1975 by the Phase 2 paint scheme. Some locomotives retained this scheme as late as the early 1980s. As it was applied to most locomotives, Phase 1 featured a silver-colored body called Platinum Mist, with a black roof and a red nose. On each side toward the midsection of the locomotive, the classic Amtrak red and blue Aero logo was displayed. Amtrak 156 was built in March of 2001 and, as delivered, wore the original version of the Phase 5 paint scheme. It received the special 40th anniversary adapted version of Phase 1 in March of 2011, making its debut as the third Amtrak anniversary unit to be completed. Let's watch Amtrak 156 in action on several different Amtrak trains.
thanks for joining me for this episode of Heritage Unit Profiles. If you have any suggestions for future Heritage Units you'd like me to cover, or you want to give me feedback about this episode, leave me a comment in the comments section down below. For regular notifications whenever I post a new video or an update on the community tab of the channel page, click on the subscribe button and select the receive all notifications option from the pull down menu. If you'd like to see even more train and railroad related content, visit my other social media pages on Flickr, Facebook, and Instagram. I'll be back next Friday at 9am Pacific Time for a brand new railroading adventure right here on the YouTube channel. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.